The word Zen conjures up images of harmony and tranquility. But AMD's new Zen 3 based processors are set to really shake up the CPU space. Nothing tranquil about it. A little under four years ago, the first Zeneration <laughs> was big news because it offered good price to performance and was a very compelling value for those needing a lot of computing cores. But the biggest headline, of course, was that AMD chips no longer absolutely sucked compared to their Intel counterparts. This time around, AMD hasn't just made something decent. It looks like they have snatched the single threaded performance crown away from Intel, which has eluded them for over a decade. So what is it about Zen 3 that's allowed Team Red to pull ahead? Zen 3 is actually based on the same seven nanometer process as Zen 2, meaning that this isn't a generational improvement that comes from just cramming more transistors onto a chip. Instead, AMD made a few key improvements to the architecture, with branch prediction being one of them. Branch prediction is a key feature of virtually all modern processors, and it helps the CPU predict which instructions it will have to execute next before requests from other parts of the system arrive. This feature is responsible for a large amount of the overall performance of modern CPUs as well as the infamous Spectre and Meltdown bugs, which you can learn more about up here. AMD's new branch predictor not only has more bandwidth, but it can also recover from misses more quickly. That basically means that the CPU can more easily write itself when the branch predictor makes an incorrect prediction. Another big change is to the cache. In case you're not familiar, CPU cache is a small amount of very high speed memory that's built right into the CPU die and is intended to contain the data that the CPU needs to process lickety split. Zen 2 had four CPU cores accessing a shared 16 megabyte level three cache. Well, Zen 3 doubles those numbers with each CCX or core complex having up to eight cores sharing 32 megs of cache. AMD says that this makes both core to core and core to cache communication more efficient. But what does this all add up to in terms of performance? AMD is boasting that Zen 3 has an instructions per clock increase of 19% over the previous generation. Hence the big single threaded performance boost, which is still by the way, very important for gamers. AMD's internal benchmarks indicate that their top end Zen 3 offering beats an Intel Core i9-10900K in 20 out of 30 games tested. Of course, you'll want to take first party benchmarks like these with a grain of salt. AMD is pretty confident though that it has finally mostly achieved parity or even nudged ahead of Intel overall, saying that average 1080p gaming performance is up 26% versus Zen 2. And outside of raw gaming performance, AMD is also claiming that its six core Zen 3 chip beats a 10 core 10900K in a single threaded Cinebench run. So Team Red is using that to appeal to content creators. As for enthusiasts, AMD says you should be able to push your RAM up to four gigahertz, a bit higher than Zen 2. Do remember, however, that if you're planning to pair your chip with an older 400 series chipset, you'll probably be waiting until sometime early next year for a compatible BIOS. The first few chips in the product stack are listed right here, and they range from the six core 12 thread Ryzen 5 5600X for 300 bucks, all the way up to the 16 core 32 thread Ryzen 9 5950X for $800. Now, some of these prices are actually more expensive than their Intel equivalents. But keep in mind that with the IPC improvements, AMD still thinks they'll be in a strong price to performance position. Now it does remain to be seen as Intel's next generation Rocket Lake desktop chips are due in the first quarter of 2021. But are you gonna wait and see how Team Blue fires back or pick up a Zen 3 chip right now? Let us know down in the comments and remember to set aside some of your CPU money so you can still buy your mother-in-law a Christmas card. <laughs> That's a good one. Who would do that? Do you want to learn something new? Brilliant is the place to do it. Brilliant is a website and app that makes learning accessible and fun. Their approach is based on problem solving and active learning. It's about seeing the concepts visually and interacting with them and then answering questions that get you to think. Their courses are laid out like a story and broken down into pieces so that you can tackle them a little bit at a time. There's no tests and no grades. Just pick a course based on what you're interested in and get started. 
If you make a mistake, it's no big deal. Just check out the explanations to find out more. You can learn at your own pace, and there's something for everybody, whether you want to brush up on the basics of algebra, learn programming, or learn about cutting edge topics like neural networks. There's even some advanced stuff like differential equations, if you're into that sort of thing. So the first 200 of you who head to brilliant.org slash techwiki are gonna get something special, 20% off an annual premium subscription. So don't wait, check out the link down below. Thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other videos, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible, and don't forget to subscribe because if you do, all the food in your fridge will suddenly rot. That's right, it'll all be wasted. We actually had a contractor unplug our deep freeze to use an outlet and they didn't plug it back in. That kind of happened to us and it could happen to you too. I lost so much ice cream.